Hey, what is up, Utube? It is your boy, Dude Sweet, aka Calm Little Buddy, and I'm here on another Enshrouded Day, bringing to you something that had bothered me uh, for a while, and I finally have decided to get around to make a quick video about it, hopefully quick, and it is getting to the southeasternmost sun temple here. So this is the southeasternmost sun temple. It is a location that is great for loot. It also has the ghost glider. This is a location that reportedly you can get to from very early levels, probably like level two on once you've got your grappling hook, and once you've got your basic glider, you do not need the advanced glider and you do not need the updraft or the extended glide, but those do help. So if you want to go ahead and level a little bit to get updraft, you know, extended glide and updraft, certainly do that. If you want to go and get the advanced glider, you want to wait till that, you could do that as well, but you could get this right off the rip. You can get the best glider in the game early on but I had so much trouble finding a way to get there that was easy. It was just so difficult. It was such a pain. So I spent a week searching everywhere on this map. And I mean everywhere. Every possible location to kind of sneak across and get to that sun temple. All right, maybe I didn't go up in here. But I went pretty much everywhere to try and find the best possible spot to get across. And there is literally only one one that seems to rise above where every other one fails and let me show you where that is that is right here i have an altar there i'm gonna actually remove this and remove this and i i wish i wish i could uh remove the altar so you could see the little point that i'm talking about here but it is on this island just past this little city over here but you'll see all this when we get to it um Hopefully, maybe I can find a better, uh, I'll find a better version of the map and kind of plop it up here and just kind of put a little pinpoint there so you can see it. Anyway, the gist is, if we start here at our Cinder Vault and we get to this tower, this is, this is where we kind of start our journey. But if you don't know how to get there, I'll show you very quickly how to get there. We get to this tower, this ancient spire, and then we're going to glide up to here well we're gonna glide over to here and then we're gonna kind of walk away up to here if you can glide up to here great you're gonna kind of backtrack a little bit and get up on top so that you're up high then you're gonna go straight across east don't try to hug this coast i'm warning you don't do it find the road that's over here try to stick to that road and your next landmark that you're looking for is this land bridge here once you've crossed that land bridge it's pretty easy you're gonna this one you can kind of follow the coast but you got to be a little careful and you're gonna get your way all the way down here there's a little bridge to a city which you'll see in the video that you can kind of hop across here and then you get to here you're gonna build an altar you're gonna build up to the top of a rock place another altar build up and then you'll be able to glide right across super super simple once you get there it's so much easier than than every other attempt that i made it does take a little doing to figure out on your own, but if you just follow the path that I'm kind of showing you here, you won't have to worry about it. I'm not going to actually walk the whole path because that's outrageous even on fast forward, but I will show you the highlights of the journey. Again, if you just follow the simple path that I laid out, head up to here, right around in this area where this flame, this flame shrine is, get up on this mountain. You can use your pickaxe, you can use altars and then come across here and then east straight east until you hit here don't forget you can add waypoints by right clicking create marker and then you can just set as waypoint super easy if you want to remove that marker you can remove the marker very easy to set yourself some waypoints to get yourself across in stages if you want to do not forget bring extra stone with you to craft altars on the way Remember, you can also bring repair benches with you if your pickaxe is very vulnerable. So you can bring a repair bench, throw down an altar, put the repair bench down, and you can fix all your gear as you're going along. You want that extra stone, you want that repair bench, especially if you're low level, that way you can make multiple altars. How many altars do you need? You can do it with just one. I'll show you, I do it with just one. Two would be better because you can kind of piggyback them off of each other. And the last thing to remember is that while you're building altars, you build up, you can build a platform out of your, your materials and you can actually put an altar on your own platforms. Even if you've removed the old altar, you can still use that platform and put a new altar up there. You'll see it's very easy to do. Once you know how to do the stack method with the altars and how to get higher and higher up, it's it's a super simple process to glide, glide across that red and shrouded area. 
and then you'll be able to home free, get yourself the ghost glider. You'll have to watch a video on actually where to locate the ghost glider in the sun temple. I just want to get you there. Once I get you, there's plenty of videos that are going to show you everything else. The biggest problem I had was getting there. It was surprisingly easy once I was there. I'll bring a lockpick. One word. <laughs> just a word of caution. Bring a lockpick or a couple lockpicks. You're going to need them just in case. Anyway, let's get on and I'll show you exactly where we need to go. Just so you can see what tower I'm talking about here. If you come out here and head directly this way, you'll see it's that tower right there. And yes, you can, you can almost glide right there. I have, I have my little bump there, but you could actually stop here and you can kind of glide across. You'll be able to make it if you go for one of these high points. If you can't, you can build an altar or you can kind of find a little walk around, but like I can almost quite literally glide there without even uh, going anywhere. I mean, I won't, but I can almost do it. Can I? Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Coming in for landing, sir. Coming in for landing. There we are. Okay, so there's your tower. Now, you might already have this tower done. If not, it's very easy to get to. You get up, get in that tower. And let me show you the mountain I'm talking about. Pretty easy to find. People are like, calm. I can't get across the red shroud. Yeah, from here you can. From here you can literally get across this red shroud. Like, I'm not even going to, like I said, I'm not even going to use any buffs or anything like that. I'm just going to float right across. And then you can see, you can see the little path up here that I'm talking about that can get you up on this mountain. A lot of it you don't even have to dig. Now you might have to run from some some creatures. But you can see right here. Now the first time I did it, I was impatient and I did a lot of pickaxing. But you don't even have to do that. You can you can almost Jump your way up. Double jump is useful, obviously. Like, if you don't have double jump, why are you playing in Shrouded? If you don't, if you don't have double jump at this point, you just you just don't like life. And of course, there's our our little tricky technique. Oh, come on, come on, dude. I have to get my stamina back. Here we go. And you you uh, you should know at this point the. The silly techniques that people use to, to pony their way up. Also known as Skyrimming it. So yeah, you can you can quite literally just make a little climb over here. You can make a little climb over here. There's even a spot further along. That you can get up. It's over there somewhere, I think. But this is kind of where I, I, I snuck my way up. You can see the ridge right there that you can sneak your way up. But over here. Now, one thing, one word of warning. Don't try to, don't try to make that jump over there. You're not going to do it. You're not going to find your way up easy there. This is your easy spot to get up. Once you're up here, you can then get to the other side. I'll meet you over on the other side and we'll talk about it there. What do you say? All right. Okay, so I want to show you something here. Here we are at one of what I call the false paths that we try to take over to there that just doesn't work. This is called, I think, Sultra's Rest. You can see there's like a little town over here and there's a little island over here. And it looks like, oh, we can go here and maybe we can get a, get across. No, we can't get across there. What we're actually looking for is this land bridge up here. This is where we want to head. So if you've gotten here and you've kind of glided all the way down here, oops, you're on the wrong path. What you want to do is go straight across to here. Okay, here's the land bridge that I was talking about right here. You can see that this road 
kind of comes and follows the land bridge right across. So as long as you're kind of following this road again, your, your safest path is going to be just kind of through this area here. You don't really want to take the coast. There's a lot of shroud around here and a lot of enemies, but there is a road that kind of winds its way through here. It's pretty easy to follow. Um, and you can outrun the enemies, you know, make sure that you have good stamina stuff on so that you're not, uh, running out of stamina while being chased because you definitely don't want that so let's uh let's get across this land bridge and then i will show you we're gonna follow this road pretty much the way it goes i'm gonna do a little gliding here just to get a little further across so our destination is here and there is a way to get right through there so if you just kind of hold this line now, again, you're going to want to avoid as many enemies as you can because you're going to be low level when you're doing this. So let me get us, and you can see this path right here. Let me get us to the next hurdle that is going to have to be overcome, and then I'll show you that. Okay, so we're still continuing on. We're right about here now. As you can see, we've, we've crossed the land bridge. And we're heading even further south, so we're going this way. But here is what you can see. See that landmark in the distance? That is where we're heading. That landmark is where we want to go to. I'm picking a little path through the open areas here. Not necessarily following the road. The road is probably safer for you. I'm doing this just to be expedient. Yeah, you've got some, uh, you've got some pretty nasty enemies out here. So you probably want to be a little bit more careful. And here's where the road meets up again. And let me show you the next kind of tricky part that we have to navigate. Because we don't want to go through this city. Like a lot of people, oh, let's go through the city. Yeah, well, not me. I'm not a city person. I am a outdoorsman. I am a wilderness guy. I'm a ranger. I'm a loner rebel. So over here is probably where I would build an altar if I were you to get across. But you don't necessarily have to build an altar if you want to just spend a little bit of extra time. I'm going to just float up, but you can actually claw your way up through that just with your pickaxe. Pass by this city. And then let me show you where our ticket to the promised land is here. Come over this ridge and see that rock right there, right above my head, this big stone right here. That is our ticket to the promised land. Now you're gonna to wanna to come over here and build an altar. This could be a bit dicey, because you gotta get it close enough so that you can platform up here. All right, so let's just do that. That should be good enough for right now. Uh, I will, uh, what have I got? This, this should be good enough, right? Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's make the bigger steps. They're quicker. Okay, so once you're up here, you can build another altar to make your platform. So once you've got your platform up here, you're going to just make it even higher and you're going to aim for that point. So you could like literally stick another altar down here. You could make some more stairs and put another altar. One thing that I, that I did want to show, let me show that real quick, is that altars themselves don't have to be placed on terrain. They can be placed on, on platforms. So if I wanted to... Even with just one altar, I know some people are like, well, I run out of altars all the time. Well, you can do this with one altar. It's just a little slower. So let me go grab this altar. Extinguish the flame. And you got to remember, make sure that you have plenty of stone with you. Because if you don't, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. See, now you place another altar and now you've got a whole nother building area that you can build with. And uh, then we can literally build up from there until eternity. So if we wanted to, um, 
we could build higher and higher and higher. I hate to waste a whole bunch of my materials showing this because like literally we're not even going to be staying here doing much. Uh, but I, I will show you again the basics. Uh, actually, let's see. Can we can we actually build a platform up here? Can we? Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, we could we could build a platform up here and get our altar up here if we wanted. Because even just one really good boost up here is going to go a long way. All right. Oops. Oh, good thing we kept our steps. But you're going to be smart and you're going to have an extra altar, right? That's what you're going to have. Uh, yeah, I get... I, I, I want to remove these, but I'm not going to because I know I know what's going to happen. If I remove these, I'm going to fall and we are going to get screwed. So let's just keep them. They will disappear eventually, so you can't keep them forever. Just so you know, once you do reset, uh, you will end up with no stairs here. So these are not available forever. Just so you know. Uh, hey, sugar. Looks like... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So now... Steps. Make them as high and far as you can. Once you hit sky limit... Build your platform. Your jumping platform. This is about as best as I can do here. Okay. And then from here, this is where you're going to kind of sail across. Now, I could probably do it in one go just because of the setup that I have. You probably won't be able to do that. Let me actually see. I might not, I might not even be able to do that. Let's use uh, some eggs. I'll even use a chicken wing, which isn't really going to help me much. But I'll drink a little water. Do a little dance and drink a little water. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super, super easy. You're right on here. And then from here, it's quite literally a straight shot down here. You got one other jump you got to do. But this is not, this is not difficult. You can, you can avoid this whole city if you want to. Actually, you don't want to avoid this. This is actually, this is actually a good spot because this is going to let you glide. Let me just very quickly, I'll show you this. This ancient structure is abandoned. And just run yourself away from some of these nifty monsters. Remember, I'm not picking the safest path. You probably want to be a little bit less courageous than I'm being right here. But now you can see once we're up here... It's just a stone's throw away. To get across to here. And you, you can very easily navigate this place up here. Uh, this is this is not a hassle at all. Now, like I said, I do have the extra glide ability and a few other things. So you might need to build when you get to that point. But you can climb your way up this. I'm not going to. I'm just going to teleport here to show you the final location and then one other quick location while we're here. Actually, two while we're here. 
Okay. So this is where I end up usually, and then I climb up over here. And then I can get right into there and get the ghost glider. You can watch a hundred other videos on how to do that. One other location I want to show you is if you walk yourself around the back of this mountain. There's a really good chest over here that you can loot repeatedly, which is why I leave an altar here. Look at that, arrow striker. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to take it because my inventory is full right now. And then there's one other place right here that you can get the best staff in the game. That one's a little trickier. That one, I would go and, and search up a video on it, but you can get yourself the Shroud Weaver in that location there. So once you're done with the Sun Temple, you can come over in this area, get yourself the Shroud Weaver. Tons of videos on that for you guys. There you go. So pretty easy to get to the Sun Temple and to get to uh, a nice gold chest that has lots of loot in this. has lots of armor pieces in it, mostly, um, mostly the mage set. But you can get the Paladin set here too. I haven't had much luck with the Paladin set, but it's still a good place to farm if you just want a quick chest to farm every time that you're on. So don't forget, we'll just review really quick. What's your route? Really quick. Start yourself at the Cinder Vault. Get yourself to this ancient spire. Come to here. This is important. Come to this huge mountainy pillar here. Go almost directly east. You'll find a road. Stay out of the shroud. Watch out for enemies. Cross the land bridge. Follow the coast. Sorry. <laughs> I have to keep looking every time I hear that hiss. Follow the coast. Sneak by the city. Right over here. Come over here. Build up. Fly across. Walk across here. Come up to the ancient abandoned structure. Snip, snap, snoop. And once again, you can get yourself across right here where Shorewatch is. Uh, just fly right over it. And you end up right here and you can get yourself to the Sun Temple. Thanks so much. Like and subscribe. You're up.